coast is on today now this is the very first time that an event that this event has been held on the continent uh, in a city where the African Development Bank uh, a key and historic partner in the forum has its headquarters now bank CEO that's Aki Wanmi Adesina has during the opening of the summit warned African governments against depending on external loans saying a heavily indebted continent is not advisable at the moment well Sarah Kimani is at that summit we love to John now Ah, good afternoon, Sarah. Really a push for a more self-sustainable African continent without all this heavy reliance on outside funders. Uh, very similar to the call uh, we heard from the AU early on this year, Sarah. Yes, and indeed, uh, the, 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 the president of the African Development Bank is saying there is so much resources and a lot of funding inside uh, African countries that they can tap into and that they can use to be able to finance infrastructure, to finance uh, the, the power uh, sector, which uh, African governments are really working on right now, and to be able to finance other uh, interests and other development projects that they have inside their countries rather than uh, depending on euro bonds which several african countries have floated in the last 10 years the african development bank saying at least 25 billion dollars worth of international debts uh, are owed by african governments uh, Sarah, we understand that this year's CEO Forum, uh, for the first time, is uh, featuring the bank's five top priorities, uh, which are designed to uh, sharpen focus on the bank's 10-year strategy. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more? We, we understand there's a great emphasis uh, on power, industrialization, uh, and feeding Africa's citizens. Yes, indeed, uh, they're calling it uh, Give Africa a High Five. Uh, and indeed, uh, when Adesina was speaking, a lot of, there was a lot of uh, cheering. There was a lot of even optimism because he says the priority will be energy, saying uh, that they will be dedicating at least 20 billion dollars in the next five years uh, to energizing or to electrifying Africa, saying that a dark continent cannot develop. He said that at least 65 million uh, Africans out of the population of 1 billion have no access to electricity or they are not connected to the grid in any way. Uh, the second one is about uh, feeding the continent, saying uh, a, lot of Kenya, a lot of Africans are still hungry, a lot of people in the continent cannot feed itself, and yet we have a lot of arable land here in Africa that can be used to feed the continent. He also spoke about industrialization, uh, making sure that the continent is able to add value to its products before it sends them out of the, of the, out of the countries. He spoke about uh, providing jobs for the youth and also provide, ensuring that women are part of the development of the continent. Indeed, uh, this afternoon there is a session uh, called Africa Women in Business, where they will be discussing about networking and providing financing for women to ensure that they are part of decision making and part of uh, developing the continent. Mm -hmm. Sarah, very quickly before we wrap up, security always a very huge worry during events of this nature, especially in light of the 21 people that died in the Grand Bassam beach attacks early on this month. What kind of security measures are we seeing around the Sofitel Hotel right now? Well, at the Sofitel Hotel, where the conference is being held, security has been heightened. There's uh, uh, police officers, there's the army, and the president, uh, Watara of uh, Alassane Watara of Ivory Coast, when he opened the meeting, the first thing he spoke about was the security situation, saying that he's happy that the CEOs have agreed to continue coming here, even after the bombings, in which, uh, to, even after the attacks in which 21 people are killed. But he also said that this is a global problem, which needs a, a global solution, and no one can Country, he says, can be able to deal with terrorism. Indeed, he admitted that there was evidence, there was intelligence that Ivory Coast would be a target of uh, Al Qaeda attacks. And he says they had put in place measures to ensure that it does not happen. But he says, with terrorism, you will never know, and you cannot be able to prepare enough to avoid an attack like what happened in Grand Bassam. Thank you, Sarah Kimani, our correspondent coming to us from the Ivory Coast, there where the Fourth Africa CEO Summit is currently underway.